Hey, and welcome to my short little video about a few tips and tricks I figured out about this one game called Rot Flesh. So if you came in from the Steam Community tab, you probably want me to get right to the point. So I'll be providing um, timestamps in the description below, letting you skip past me explaining what Rot Flesh actually is. But to everyone else who's like subscribed to my channel already and is watching the game, let me quickly explain it. So Rot Flesh is a game in the vein of Tribes Ascend. Tribes Ascend is a game which may, not, may or may not be running anymore. But the general premise is, as you can see, you move around really quickly. You have a slide move, which you can kind of use to kind of slide down sand dunes to increase your movement. And the combat is really snappy and fluid and also, and generally stuff like that. And also another main premise of the game is that you're sent to this one desert world to basically go and kill someone at first. And I think the, the, the story moves on from there. I haven't really figured out what much of the story is about, but... Uh, uh, but it's really, I really like what I've found so far, and also another really new mechanic is if you press T, you're able to open, rip open up your own kind of stomach area and uh, take exchange organs and fat from like other enemies you get in order to make a build for yourself. Okay, now that I'm done explaining the game, on to the actual tips. So one of the first things I'm going to cover are like these lava fly type enemies over here. They generally are really, really annoying to deal with because if we just get close to them as you uh, um, and just shoot them a few times they will then rush towards you kind of deploy themselves and immediately shoot fire at you like no tomorrow uh, one of the best weapons to kill them in my opinion is the grenade launcher but we're going to do a different tactic here that I love doing which is we just shoot them a tiny bit get them to come closer and then keep on getting away from them as they get closer and uh, my tactic here is pretty much lead them over to the townsfolk because the townsfolk generally don't like invaders in their territory and they're willing to help you I'm pretty sure before you do some of the quests as well they actually can't die some of the townsfolk can't actually just die immediately by these enemies yep so we're just going to attract the flies some more here Jump over, and as you can hear from the screaming and everything, the townsfolk have now engaged them. And, uh, I can't really see what's going on here because there's so many bullets being fired. But, um, what is generally going to happen is that, um, as you can see there, yep, that one is defeated now. And that one is too. And using the townsfolk to help you this way is actually a really good way to, um, basically farm the flies. Because now, as you can see, we're able to kind of harvest their organs for our own if we ever happen to be running low. So yeah, that's one of the first tips I wanted to cover. Pretty much, you can use the townsfolk to your advantage to kill these flies. The only downside is that the AI for them is kind of a bit weird, so they start kind of running around like this, kind of being a little loopy look feeling. And uh, in general, some of the townsfolk, especially like the mayor of the town, which you use to hand in quests, will be um, yeah, generally the mayor who you handed quests will sometimes be wandering around and you won't be able to find him that easy. So that's the first tip I wanted to cover. The next tip I wanted to cover is that if you ever find yourself running low on a few fat and organs and that kind of stuff, there actually are some um, dead bandits around here. And I'm going to put a cut in and get back to you right when I find the bandits because I actually found that you can um, loot organs off the bandits' dead impaled bodies. So I'll get back to you once I find them. Okay, here I am back, and I found the bandit just like I said I was going to do. So as you can see, that over there is the town where we we're at, the main uh, point of navigation in your map where you can kind of use to, like, you just look for these giant solar panels, you kind of know where you are based in the town. And the bandits we're looking for are, um, right over here. So you might be thinking, like, well, wait, I can't actually, like, interact with the bandits or anything. What do you mean you can get all of off them? Jump. You just jump up and then you press E to interact with them and then here you can see that the, the bandits, yeah, they got all the normal human body parts which you can then use to take and put into your own. Yeah, generally very useful, some free organs if you need them. So, the uh, last tip I wanted to cover is generally when fighting bandits, one thing you really, really don't want to do. So, there is this, um, uh, basically drug you can get in the game and, uh, if we just move over here, you can see what it's called, but I'm just going to call it KF in case you don't like swearing and that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, KF is a drug that pretty much makes you enter slow-mo time and slows everything down. But um, generally, uh, what you don't want to do is this. I'm just going to go over here to not attract the bandit's attention, 
and I'm going to fire this grenade launcher twice, uh, using up the, uh, the ammo I have. And now, what you don't want, what, what want to do is run into a battle while having a weapon that has got no ammo, so that you would have to, like, basically reload it. So, activating the drug. Yeah, and now I'm trying to fight the bandits, and then immediately I have to spend basically all of the, um... All of the time I would have gotten, like all the time I would have like gotten fighting the bandits and actually, um, I mean, all the use out of the drug, I would have gotten out of the drug. I have to spend it now just uh, reloading, and that basically ruined the point of even taking it in the first place. So generally, don't do that. However, I'm just going to immediately load my game because uh, I don't want to have wasted the uh, drug, and it's actually kind of hard to find. So, the last tip generally I wanted to cover is the fact that, uh, uh, I've covered that, uh, the last tip I wanted to cover is the fact that you can kind of sometimes tell when enemies are around you or not by actually leaving the, um, in-game music on. It's actually a really good indicator of if you are under attack or not. So I'm just gonna put it a little higher. You can generally kind of hear it in the background, it's kind of more ambient music now, but just hear what it sounds like when I start shooting these flies. Yeah, the music changes immediately, and this music will basically be on a continuous loop until you actually defeat said enemies for good. Well, that's actually really, really loud. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I forgot just actually how loud it gets. Yeah, and then you can actually immediately use the music to kind of tell when the enemies are about to de-aggro on you. Which I just in general find really useful. And even in when, you're, when you take the KF and you are in slow mode motion like I am right now, the uh, music will actually keep playing if you don't have these sound effects up way too loud like I do. Yeah, the music will generally keep playing when you are um, fighting the enemies as well, and then the moment they are defeated generally, that's when it will stop. The only downside, yeah, as you can see there, the music just immediately just straight up cuts off when the enemy is defeated. The only downside I'd say there is to this is that you might not want to listen to the same old same old music in the, all the time, because this area I'm in is basically a huge crater, and that's the only combat track I've heard so far, so it may sound very samey, and at some point you may or feel like you're generally about to go insane from just listening to it too much. Oh yeah, also another thing, uh, one last tip I'm going to cover, is that generally with your organs, hearts in general will, um, yeah, heart in general, hearts will regenerate your health but they will start doing it the moment they are placed inside of your body. In order to make the most use out of your heart, what you want to do is after a fight, immediately run over to one of the enemies, and then right click on it. Oh, apparently I can't there because I'm at max health, but if you right click on an enemy when you're not on max health, then... In fact, no wait, I just realized, I, I, can, get my, I can show you how this works by taking some of the uh, fat out of my character. Apparently the game just crashed. I'll get back to you once I've actually loaded the game up again so I can see what, show you what I mean. Yeah, so here's actually a perfect example of what I mean. I'm injured right now, and I can just right-click this uh, body here. The enemy's shooting him here, but I can kind of just actually just steal the body away from his friend, take it away, and eat it. And you can generally, as long as you have um, intestines in your character, you can generally keep eating this for a long time, and it'll uh, kind of prolong your character's health and uh, give you a lot more health so that you don't have to waste the um, health that any of your um, hearts provide, because I'm just going to get away from the enemies here and basically get myself up to full health to um, show you what I mean. So now that we're kind of at full health, I'm just going to open up my character again, and as you can see, the heart here has 26 durability. Durability um, will affect how much health an organ has before it becomes useless, like this dead fat here won't actually give my character any more health anymore because it has been shot so much it's basically pretty much decayed. Same with this um, intestine I had from one of the enemy creatures, it was like an acidic one giving me acidic resistance. But the um, hearts here, the special thing about them is that 
as they regenerate health to your character, they actually take health off themselves. So, oh, I'm, I'm getting shot again, but um, I guess I can just uh, reload from a save because the enemy uh, just snuck up on me. But yeah, as I was saying, the hearts here generally start up off with, uh, like a normal human heart would generally start off with well, 125 health. But as you regenerate health from the heart because of like pumping blood into your character, the heart will take health off itself and give it to your overall health down here. And as you know, in most games, when you lose all your health, you die. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to cover. The fact that when killing enemies, you really, really definitely should uh, eat them immediately after um, killing them. Oh yeah, actually, one, one last tip I just thought of off the top of my head here is uh, you see this grenade launcher here. Well... On enemy bandits, I've noticed that when I kill them with a grenade launcher, sometimes they blow up and turn into meaty giblety chunks. You may have actually noticed that in the gameplay before. In fact, I'm just going to keep talking here and rewind it to when that gameplay was happening and kind of slow down the footage here to show what I mean when I shot the bandit and he exploded the meaty, meaty giblety chunks. Uh, apparently, explosive weapons like this one, I don't know, don't know if there's even more in the game, but they will explode bandits, making it so that you can't take the organs out of the bandits and put it in yourself. It will make them just be meaty chunks, which you can then eat afterwards, but it'll generally ruin them. So it's actually sometimes more beneficial to kill them with the harder to, somewhat harder to use weapons, such as the shotgun and SMG. And that's generally all I wanted to cover. Thanks for watching my short tips guide about this uh, game. I uh, hope it was useful for you, you. If not, please let me know in the comments why it wasn't useful or why it was useful for you. I'll see you again if I decide to upload any more content about this game.